There's a German concept of Schadenfreude, which is a word that kind of sounds like a sneeze, but it means deriving pleasure from somebody else's misfortune. Here are some examples. Uh, laughing when somebody trips over, smiling when a team that you hate loses, or feeling good when someone that you know fails. Ever done anything like that? Yeah, <coughs> me either. <coughs> is Schadenfreude good or bad? Well, some people suggest that it is to our benefit to experience this Schadenfreude because it's that experience that helps motivate us to achieve success. It keeps us going as others around us fall away, which seems to be like a pretty lonely way to experience life and kind of sounds like the opposite of what I would consider success. So it must be bad then. Surely if I feel good about something bad happening to someone else, it can't be too long before I then consider initiating something bad to someone else for my own pleasure. And then from considering to doing doesn't take too long either, so schadenfreude has to be bad, doesn't it? Well, the truth is, by itself, it's neither good nor bad. It's just part of the human emotional experience, but what we do with it can create positive or negative outcomes. How we process our emotions when we experience it makes all the difference. Just as with any element of our, of our shadow, of our dark side, you notice it. You see it for what it is, an emotional response, and move on. Schadenfreude and other emotions from this shadow are heavily weighted uh, towards isolation, which is so unhealthy for us. I would suggest moving towards relationship out of that at every possible moment. So I don't need to seek to avoid Schadenfreude, uh, bless you, uh, notice it when it happens and move towards relationship. When you feel good about someone else failing, that's okay. But don't stay in that space. Move towards the person, even in your own thoughts, which will help you begin to understand how they could be struggling in this situation. Now that becomes an opportunity to be generous to them, but also with yourself when you may struggle to do that.